better call your RainSoft water treatment dealer today. People say I'm lucky. I don't know why. There must be a lucky star for me up in the sky. People say I'm lucky. And I guess it's true. I'm lucky. Champagne bubbles save victory. Celebrations. Now there's another bubble that does the same. Taylor made champagne burner bubble for women. The coolest club in golf. Uncork one today. Too much iron in your water? Then you'd better call your RainSoft water treatment dealer today. Yeah, I took the high endurance challenge from Old Spice because I didn't really think it could work better than my old deodorant. But it does. If you don't think it's the best, call 1-800-PROVE-IT and they'll buy you a stick of yours. Now you got proof. Guaranteed. Well, very interesting circumstances on the 14th hole, this par 5 hole. First tee shot of Dottie Mockery, you saw it going way left. And then Pat Bradley to the right. And you wonder sometimes if the mind game comes into play. Now, let's take a look at Dottie Mockery's ball because it went off this direction and it's in the trees somewhere. Then Pat Bradley went down here, hit a rock and bounced directly this way. Now, Bradley hitting a rock may have a break because had she just hit it here and gone, there's a creek right in there, her ball could be in. But by hitting the rock, she could be all the way over in the, the adjacent fairway and have a clear shot. Mockery may be the one in trouble over in this direction. Let's take a look at the golf swings. Now, let's look at Dottie Mockery, and again, let's talk about it. I talked about she's trying to get a little flatter, more in this direction, and not so upright. Let's see what she does in the backswing. Good setup. She makes her move this direction, which she short normally does. Now, she's up just a hair of probably where she wants to be. Now, she makes, she's perfect at the top, club pointing to the target. Now, she, let's see what happens when she makes a move. Boy, she's really off that foot. Is there a spin out here? Well, no, it wasn't really actually that bad. What happened is, is through impact, which is right here, her hands kind of stopped, her arms left, st went forward, and her hands kind of stopped, so the club face turned over on the ball. Really wasn't that bad of a swing. It was just a little quick with the hands. Well, Jane? let's see what, uh, Jane, what she's got. And we're keeping in mind that uh, Kelly Robbins has just birdied, so she's only two shots back. And Mockery, is she in trouble or not? No, Mockery got a break. Actually, uh, the, she hit the ball through the trees. She has a perfect lie and no obstruction whatsoever. And, uh, you know, when you're trying to win a golf tournament, that's the break you need many times. Uh, so she, believe me, she's counting her blessings. The golf gods were good, but they listened to her when she said, get lucky. Well, again, she just got through those trees. Uh, the ball is in the heavy rough, but it's setting up just fine. And uh, all she'll have to do now is hit the ball about 170 yards, uh, laying up short of that second creek, and um, has a chance to do whatever on the hole. How about Pat Bradley, Jane? Well, Pat's very fortunate. Um, really, I, I saw her brother come toward her and uh, give the safe sign, but she has a good lie. It looks fairly flat, and we'll have to hit over the trees with a probably relatively oh, short iron. We are just watching Kelly Robbins, uh, Jane, hit to the right of the short par 317th, which today is only playing 146 yards, wind in her face, and she hit it off to the right. And a very, very poor shot, 146 yards. She's probably hitting an 8-iron, and it's a huge target. That is a big, big green. Anybody that makes a hole-in-one on this hole today, 146 yards, gets that beautiful Chevy Relay Lumina LS. That's if the ball goes on the hole. There have been some holes in one on the tour this year worth a car today if you do it at the 17th. Now let's go back to 14T again where all the uh, happenings are. Pat Bradley, now just earlier, Mockery hit it left, Bradley on the tee. She's set up very well, you know, has her arms hanging very naturally, does not look tight whatsoever. Ball in actually good position right there. Now let's see her take it back. And she starts to move it back, makes a good turn away. She gets a little past parallel, just slightly past parallel there, not too bad. Then she makes her move. Now she slides forward that direction before the club head gets to the ball. But let's go to the live action now and see what's happening. Five inches of rain has fallen in three days, making this ever so long par 5 14th hole that much longer. Both Pat Bradley and Dottie Mockery have parred this hole on the first and second day. Jane? That's Mockery. 
hitting her five wood. Made a good swing, no problem. You know, Jane, I have to think that maybe both those swings really didn't look too bad, that maybe their hands might have slipped on the grip just slightly, as wet as it is. Well, I mentioned that Mockery hasn't even had an umbrella over it all day long, and, uh, you know, that could cause her to get a little bit tight as the day progresses, because it's getting colder. But now we don't want to miss Pat Bradley's shot here. Can you see that slightly, a little more side hill lie than I realized. She's got a seven iron. Get the ball up quickly. Oops, hold on there. Just over the creek. And Pat Bradley, who finished last year third in the McCall's LPGA Classic, trying to make a run for it here. Donnie Mockery, still your leader at 11 under. When I bite into a York peppermint patty, I get the sensation. I'm climbing the Alps above pure powdery snow below an alpine village. Oh, look, a little oompa band. Oompa, oompa, oompa. York peppermint patty, get the sensation. We at Oldsmobile don't like to boast, but our 88 was just named a Consumer's Digest Best Buy for the fifth straight year. No other full-size car has ever done that, but then no other full-size car has dual airbags, ABS, and a 205 horsepower V6 in such an attractive package for such an attractive price. Exactly. So when should we expect you? It's your money. into a York peppermint patty. Whew. I get the sensation I'm leading a team of huskies across the Arctic tundra. The distant glacier sparkle as the cold crisp air tickles my lips. Must you huskies fresh? York peppermint patty. Get the sensation. I'd like to make a simple point about a gasoline additive called Krogard. Krogard's patent of Tecron chemistry begins cleaning deposits not only from fuel injectors but throughout your engine's intake system for a noticeably smooth